Yeah, hello everyone. I am Tan, working in the lab of Engineering and Energy Corporation, taking a role in the development of the Eagle Jump Pay Infrastructures. Firstly, let me talk something about my company, VNG. VNG Corporation is the Vietnam's leading internet and technology company. We are the recognized 1 million value startup in Vietnam in 2014. Many key products developed by VNG have adjusted hundreds of millions of users such as Zalo, Zalopay, and Zing. Uh, secondly, let me talk a little bit about Zalo first. Zalo sees the keys in products of um, other Vietnamese corporate VNGs. The most popular messenger staff in Vietnam, which were launched in 2012, with about 1 million active users so far. And finally, Zalo Pay is a uh, mobile application of users' daily life and business needs. Zalo Pay is built on top of Zalo. Integrating many conveniences from the Zalo ecosystem. Firstly, in 2017, uh, there is there is already an ecosystem that Zalo uh, significant of Zalo's users. That means the system must be built to handle a very significant volume of users and non-stop non -stop scalability. Talk a, bit, uh, talk a little bit about uh, merchant solutions and ZaloPay system. Um, in early 2020, ZaloPay launched a new feature that's allowed on of um, users of Zalo to transfer money, share money over the ZaloPay applications. In Vietnam, Zalo is finally in building money transfer payment features on an online chat platform. You know, uh, building an infrastructure that satisfies Zalo a huge number of users to integrate with Zalo is not a small challenge. It's a, big, it's a very big concern. Building service and architectural design according to the old model is not appropriate because it requires scalability, resiliency, always on availability, uh, performance monitoring, and ties as a suit security. I'm going to talk about the challenge, about the challenge of the database first. Recognizing the development of the business is rapidly expanding. Data storage and data processing is the major concern that can be clearly seen in the immediate future. With just a delayed action, the booming business requires an infrastructure that must respond in parallel with the business source. Where is identified a suitable solution for database without TRDB, MySQL database that supports FTAP workloads, supports familiar MySQL protocol. All of you sitting in this corner might understand about TRDB more than anyone. Probably I don't need to say much about the its architecture. This part is for up professional staff. You certainly know what the IDB can do. Please allow me to talk a little bit about my knowledge about FTAB. The main technical challenges for an SDAP database are how to be efficient, both for small transactions with a high fraction and updates and complex query challenging large number of rounds on the same database system, and how to prevent the interference of the analytical worries over the over the operation workload. Most applications of STAB are enabled by in-memory technologies that can process uh, high volumes of transactions and offer features such as forecasting and simulations. STAB has the potential to change the way organizations do, do, do their business by offering immediate business decision making capabilities based on a life and sophisticated analysis of a large volume of data. Business leaders can inform of real time issues, outcomes, and change that necessitates action, such as in the era of risk management and fraud detection. TLDB is the new C database that supports SPAB workloads built for meeting the needs of data development, data scalability, data analytics, etc. What I learned most about TLDB is the account analyze data is very easy with the export. 
It's very useful to see the fast growing business situation as to why data storage, calamity, and mining. That's a bunch of data to give our business recommendations quickly. Leave that aside. Going back to Zalopay and the IDB, Zalopay is working in the field of mobile payment, which is from the new technology revolution. Pay system requires many cloud of business transactions that super tightly in parallel with business analytics recommendations quickly. The IDB, which they know as the new database, that super high risk transactional and analytical processing workloads. Yeah, that's just, that's exactly what we want now and that we want in the future. Please allow me to talk about my promise about and my point of view. Data can be plentiful, can be strong, can be power everywhere. Although recognizing it's a score my but not many people or organizations can afford to mine that private data because technological and human limitation. As I know from reading the blog, Shopee a huge e-commerce platform which is very well known in Southeast Asia. They are using the IDB for their risk control system. They migrated from traditional shopping Mexico to the IDB. In early, in early 2019, their TIDB cluster source a large amount of non transactional data. And they are planning to evaluate the migration of some transactional data from Mexico to the IDB. They are also planning to use the IDB as a part of their MySQL replication scheme where the IDB can show up as a MySQL slave and data in MySQL will be replicated in the IDB in real time. Currently, currently at Salopate, we are running the IDB cluster on our on premise. As I talked before, in early 2020, Jalopay launched a new feature that allows on active yellow users can transfer money, bill payment, mobile talk, hotel travel booking in Zalo Messenger apps. Zalo users can easily order products, share bills for group chat, send working money in group chats, a group of family. Uh, making payment at all merchants in the retail, food and beverage service, e-commerce, etc. The industry through the merchant's yellow official account. As you can illustrate, like Facebook Pancake, the merchant has an official Pancake and users can interact with their products on their site in yellow chat apps. Then pay for goods over yellow, yellow pay. Besides, the features allow users to send gifts, that can be a voucher, a telephone card, a lucky money, or anything for orders through the screen chat app. Only in the general building sections, we have got many hundred thousand chances on the day. That's you can imagine about how our DIDB cluster are working. It serves millions of requests per day. That's incredible. We might spend in the use of DIDB in analytical services as well as non transactional businesses. Can we mention those are many mining system recommendation system for our products? Already know DIDB is hybrid database system. Using this from the very beginning, it's very easy for us to develop the project quickly. Our slogan is Yellow Pay, pay in two seconds. To achieve that slogan, we have to improve many cloud of businesses as well as technical cloud for implementing services. We use GoLand, which is matching with the IDB plantation. Our engineers are familiar with GoLand so they can easily read and understand the IDB code, which makes it very easy to optimize the performance of the service. As well as the software between applications and the IDB database core. IDB makes it much easier to achieve the cloud pattern of our service and application can be mentioned as scalability, resiliency, monitoring. Thank you, Pinka, for the great open source product. I heard from my friend from China said that Pinka is very well known open source company in China. Pinka product have a lot of companies solve a lot of problems in their system operation specific in database system. You should hear properly. Uh, very interesting in the and Pinga. 
this MLSQ. Okay, then the products shows <coughs> has programmers who use that um, products better understanding the nature as well as the features of that product and how that product work. Thanks, speak up for that contribution. Probably I don't need to talk about how the enemy works properly because this section were certainly presented by King Kai professional very clean in the documentation and in the dev home today. I also want to talk about my experiences with the speak, with the support from Kinka. At my community support from Kinka a lot. Not too long ago, we had some trouble in using and maintaining services with the IDB. I went to Kinka community. There I got very enthusiastic and dedicated support from senior engineers, uh, vice president of engineering. Uh, and professional communities, community staff help us investigate and fix this problems that's not every open source uh, organization or individual can do we would like to thank the government member again who have wholeheartedly helped us learn about and work with the IDB and also thank you all very much for the talk today see ya